Bro, I was, I was literally, literally talking, talking my, my ear off, off and I did not even know I was, I was not, not recording. recording. Damn, Damn it. it. That's, That's my, my fault. fault. That's, That's my, my fault. fault. Apparently, Apparently, I wasn't paying attention. Apparently, I wasn't paying attention. attention. You know, you know what? what? Let me just see something. something. <clears throat> Excuse me. What's up, Ghosties? Can we go to the back job again? And I cannot believe I did not record that whole thing. I, like, you guys completely missed it. Well, you know what? I promised you guys a reaction video, and you're going to get one way or the other. There are actually some moments I miss from actually talking, so I'm not even gonna waste. I'm not, yeah, I'm not even gonna waste your breath. I'm just gonna get right into the video. Wait, first, let me make sure that I'm recording. All right, yeah, I'm still recording. All right, let's go. I actually want to rewatch this trailer anyway, so yeah, let's go. All right, Thomas. You seem particularly triggered right now. Can you tell me what happened? I've had dreams that weren't just dreams. Oh, yeah, not dreams. Am I crazy? No. We don't use that word in here. I was like, what the hell happened? Girl, Judy, welcome back. Have we met? I mean, they won in this one, they don't even know you. They don't know what the love that they had. They're good, though. One girl makes you small. And the ones that mother gives you don't do anything at all. Go ask Scarlett when she's ten feet tall. If you want the truth, Neo, you're going to have to fly me. The only thing that matters to you is still here. I know it's why you're still fighting and why you will never give up. You don't know me. No? years to be going back to where it all started back to the matrix to come out in december on the 22nd in 2021 this year and I'm still recording. Alright, now, uh... <laughs> Excuse me. You guys missed a lot of what I was talking about. Uh, I was talking about, like, everything that went down in the first, second, and third film. So I'm gonna kind of recap it, but I'm gonna make this short and simple. Okay, in the first film, we see Neo, like, living kind of like in the world, like in this one. Uh... Where, where it's, it's honestly, honestly not real. real. Like, like, none, like, like, I'm saying, like, none of it is real. But thanks to Morpheus and taking the Red Pill, he was able to, you know, have his mind freed and be brought back into the real world. But it's not the world that he, you know, 
once, once knew. knew. It's, it's a completely, completely different, different one. one. And... How can I put this? Oh, yeah. He is... Ba um, basically, he was being targeted by... Uh, programs. Agent programs. Led by uh, Smith. And uh, they tried... Look, they tried to kill him and his crew, but... They failed. Like, Neo was able to defeat Smith in the end by literally going right into his body and destroying him from the inside. And then it turns out he can fly like Superman. Second movie, uh, the battle continues and Neo meets the Architect, which is the creator of the Matrix, and he tells him that Zion is going to be destroyed but that was a bunch of bull. That was a bunch like that was complete bogus. Uh, at the end of the film, Trinity ends up going inside the Matrix, even though Neo told her not to. He told her specifically not to go inside the Matrix to stay out of this no matter what. But if she had not done what she did, him, Morpheus, and the Keymaker would have been dead. And that's, you know, just, like, plain facts. Uh, so she does, and then she has to fight one of the agents. A completely different agent than what we see in the first film. He beats her to, he barely beats her to a pulp. She manages to escape by jumping out the glass window. That's gotta be, like, 30, 40 feet high. And shooting at him. They're like shooting at each other like in like midair. She manages to get a couple of shots, but not for but not for he gets one right in her, you know, basically her stomach. Or like her side, like right here. Neo, however, is able to save her. The architect told her that told him that, you know, Trinity is going to die and there's nothing that you can do to prevent it. But he didn't, you know, uh, but I mean, he, he refused to believe that. that. Like, like his, his love, love for Trinity. Trinity goes beyond limits. And, and so, so he manages to save her, her take, take the bullet, bullet out, and revive, revive her heart and bring her back to life. At the end of the film, Sentinels come, they destroy the Nebuchadnezzar, Morpheus's ship. They are at, they're like going after him, Neo, Trinity, and Link. But because Neo's powers extend, you know, beyond you know, uh, the Matrix and to the real world, he was able to destroy the Sentinels by thinking it and using his hand. And unfortunately, that was a man coma. And guess who just happens to be next to him? Bang. Or, like, as you all like, no, as Smith. Third movie, battle still continuing. Sentinels are, like, going up against the humans. In the end, the human and in, in the end, humanity managed to prevail. They managed to defeat the Sentinels, and it was a lot of them. But it still wasn't enough because there was still more of them. They just kept coming, no matter what. Neo was the only like was the only person that could you know be able to stop this. So he goes to the machine city and. Makes sort of like a pact with uh, this big giant machine. I forget the name of it. Yeah, 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 yeah I forget the name of it. Uh, he makes a pact uh, and wants peace. You know, give me a chance to defeat Smith, and you leave humanity alone. And so he does that. He's able to succeed. Because he is like, you don't realize that, that like finding Smith in the hand was not going to cut it. It was not going to do what it was going to cut it. So he had to let, let him make, make a copy like, like of him. him. Like, like he had to let, let Smith like, basically take over him by making a copy of him, by, by making him a part of, of you know, the Smith cult, cult I like to call it. So, so he, he could, could defeat him from the inside. Amen to that and, and free humanity. And basically, basically it works out, right? Well, well it turns, turns out that, uh... No, this, like, no, this is far more. 
So, so apparently, apparently in this film, film uh, Neo, Neo is living as Thomas Anderson, Anderson in the fake, fake world, world, I call it, it the Blue, Blue Hill, Hill world, world, if, if you, you like, like to call that. that. And apparently, apparently him, him and Trinity don't even know each other, you know. Yeah, I mean, him and Trinity, they don't, like, you know, know each other in that world. Like, they don't know every single thing that they went through. I mean, it's insane. But it looks like that he was tired of taking the blue pills and finally takes the red pill. And now he's back. He's back inside the Matrix after all these years. And honestly, it feels fan freaking fantastic. All right, uh, I'll talk to you guys here off long enough. I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut this video short. I'm going to get out of here. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and uh, Snapchat. Love you guys. All the death. Stay true. Stay loyal. Stay safe because we're still in a pandemic. And peace.